What's up, guys? Mike Puma here, president of Century 21 BE3, and I wanted to hop on and give my thoughts on a bombshell news article that dropped today, which was that NAR has reached a settlement on all the lawsuits. And the biggest kind of drop today and the biggest piece of that article that I think is caught the industry by storm is the fact that the compensation um, that basically says, hey, here's what each side is getting paid is going away from being visible in the MLS. And that is huge news because so many agents look at that and understand what am I getting paid when and if I sell this house? And obviously, for ethical reasons, they're getting rid of that to say, we don't want you showing or not showing a house if you know how much you are getting paid or not getting paid. And because buyers no longer have to be guaranteed compensation from the listing side, that is a major concern of a lot of agents. But here's the reality. Should it be a concern? Yes. If you are not with a brokerage that does not give you a skill set to be able to give a value-driven presentation, you're in trouble. If you do not have a technology available to you that allows you to create meaningful presentations, you are in trouble. If you do not have valuable skill set to actually be able to connect, communicate, sales skills, if you don't have them, you are in trouble. All of this being said, the flip side of this is also if you are a listing agent and you've been relying on putting your home in the MLS, putting your listing in the MLS and having buyer's agents go through and sell your property, you are in trouble because the flip side of this and the long-term effects of this, in my opinion, of course, is that we are going to see less and less buyer's agents. Now, can buyer's agents get around all of this by getting a buyer broker agreement? Yes, they can. And I think they're gonna become the norm in our industry. There's a couple of challenges with that. One, it involves a presentation, which I just mentioned. If you don't have a good presentation um, to be able to deliver, as well as a presentation maker, a skill set, a technology that's going to allow you to do it, you're in trouble there. But if you can sign that buyer's broker's agreement, that's great. A lot of agents don't know their actual value and they're going to struggle. So if you're one of those agents, it's time to understand your value so that you can actually sell it. But there's going to be less and less agents that are able to do that. What does that mean? That means if I'm a listing agent and I've relied on those agents to sell my listings, that's going to be fewer and far between. So what does that mean? That means we've got to get way better as an industry and as an agent on selling direct to consumer. So now, in my opinion, granted, I'm biased because I'm with a big brand and I'm with a big brokerage. Those things matter. Size matters more than ever before. If you are with a small little brokerage that doesn't have reach, that doesn't have the ability to market your, your listings across a lot of different agents and a lot of different marketplaces, you're in trouble. And I don't say that to diminish anyone, but the reality is that size of a brokerage and size of the brand that you are with is going to matter more than ever before. Because when our agents, for example, do they have a listing technology? Yes. Our CRM has an entire presentation part of it for buyers and sellers that makes them show up better. Do we teach a listing process and a listing presentation and a buyer process and a buyer presentation? Yes. So our agents, my agents, are going to show up better. They're going to be better trained, better educated. They are amazing at what they do, and they will succeed. This is a huge opportunity for, for my brokerage and our agents, right? Now, if you don't have those things, you don't have, the other thing our agents have is they have the ability to push out a listing and have 700 other agents that work for us promote that. So going direct to consumer, now those listings, even if the MLS has less people involved seeing their listing, they're get, it has the ability to get marketed and pushed out far beyond what most other brokerages have. Then you add in the layer of Century 21 and anywhere that are also helping to not only push those listings across the United States, but also globally. And that is something that just being with a big brand brings to the table. And that is something that a lot of agents have really looked past over the last few years, and rightfully so at times. 
that is going to shift. So this is a time. Take a hard look. If you are not, if you don't have the right business partner behind you to help you navigate this, reach out. Um, even if we're not operating in your market, I will find you somebody who I know is very good at these types of things that will help you. But reach out. I'm here to help. But this is a this is major news, folks. And if you're not paying attention to it, you're going to put your hand your head in the sand and pretend like it's not happening. You're going to lose. And there's going to be a lot of agents who do not have a good skill set who do not know how to deliver a presentation, do not understand their value, they are going to be out of this industry very, very soon. So I'm excited. I'm excited for our agents. I'm excited about where this is going because while it's making it more challenging, it's a change that I think actually works in the benefit of those agents and those brokerages that are really good at what they do, that have actually built expertise, that are building knowledge for their agents. Those things are going to really shine through. And so I'm really excited. If you have questions, you have a difference of opinion. I love to hear everyone's opinion on these types of things. Comment it below. Love to hear it. Thanks, guys.